I am so happy because my omelet auto door came in the mail today. This is my second omelet automatic chicken coop door. If you don't know about it, I will put a link up here to me fangirling over it. <laughs> um, which I explain in that video pretty much why I'm crazy about this door. Long story short, I have had a nightmare time with automatic chicken coop doors. I do not have electricity to my chicken coop. I had another door that I pretty much jerry-rigged to run off a solar panel, but that door, like they gave, they gave instructions on how to run it off a battery, off like a little battery that could be charged by a solar panel. So it's not like I totally went off and did something crazy. Unfortunately, it just in the long run has not worked out for me. It's been very complicated. My poor chicken coop um, that I got from my grandpa, he just had a hole cut in it, no door. So then I patched that up and put the door I have in there now, and I'm going to be patching that up <laughs> to put this door in. So I actually have to take some stuff out and patch it up, put this door in. If you have a chicken coop that doesn't have a door yet, you know, if you're, if you're brand new, if you are brand new, get this door. I am telling you, it's a lifesaver. Um, if you already have a chicken coop with a door, I'll try to show you guys a little bit about how I'm just gonna patch it up, put this door in. So I have an omelet chicken coop for my rescue hens that were from Egg Factory. So this fit just right into the omelet chicken coop, omelet igloo cube. But in their instructions, they have instructions on how to install it into a normal wooden chicken coop. And I was like, have to have it. So I just got my second one. I'm excited to install it. It runs off like two AA batteries. I mean, it's just, it's life changing. Who knew I could be excited about chicken coop doors but like I said if you watch my other video you'll see how I fangirl over it but anyways let's get started like I said before I even think about installing the other coop I have to get my current chicken coop door out Out with the old, in with the new. So the day after I started working on my chicken coop, we had 60 mile an hour wind. So I did not finish it and then we were harvesting corn. So this is almost a week later. I'm very anxious to get it in. I did decide though, because my coop had this really funky hole, the best thing for me to do was to make a whole new piece of wood that would cover that whole hole. And so I cut out the eight by 12 square that the directions recommend you cut in your coop. I've got like this, the funkiest hole. So this is gonna be better for me. This is gonna be like a full patch with this. Another thing I'm gonna do that's a little bit different than the direction shows is the automatic door is actually gonna be inside my coop instead of on the outside. On the outside would be best. That's how they say to do it in the directions and I think that's the best way to do it. The reason I'm putting it on the inside of mine is I have a really weird situation where I have a chain link fence that comes right up to my chicken coop and pretty much just has a hole cut out of it. So I could cut the chain link fence more but instead I'm going to put the automatic coop door on the inside of my chicken coop. It is raised so I don't think it's going to be an issue if it ever is an issue I'll let you guys know but I would say if you have like an open coop you know on the side it definitely should be going on the outside I'm kind of 
not following the rules. So, you know, if you can do what they say, you should. Here is the super funky hole I have in my chicken coop that I'm gonna cover up like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that screwed on. That should be really nice. I'm really happy with that. That looks really good. It looks super ghetto on the other side because there's like a weird hole, but I mean, that's my own fault because I've tried to put so many doors in it, but this is going to be it. This is the best door. And, and I have experience with this door from having it in my omelet coop. So I'm really excited to have it in my big coop because it's so reliable. So anyways, there it is installed. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think putting one big patch on it was great. And now I'm going to put the little uh, timer up. This has to be one of my favorite features of this door. The whole door and timer run off four AA batteries. It doesn't come with them, so make sure you have them on hand. But I mean, who doesn't have AA batteries in their house most of the time? This is what I've talked about was such a headache with my other door is I don't have electricity in my coop. So my other doors had to run off a solar panel and a battery, four AA batteries. It's just like, how hasn't anyone done this yet? <laughs> Thank you, Omelet. Point out, so I just plugged in the door. See, it says door there. They also have a coupe light and a heater that all run off this same timer. So go on, stay home. I just got the timer installed, so we are going to follow the super easy instructions. I'm just going to test the door first. There we go. Hold to open. Yay. All right, just wanted to make sure it was opening and closing good and now I'm gonna set the timer. If I did everything right, it should be opening at 6.30 in the morning and closing at 7.30 at night. So we'll see if it closes and it opens, hopefully. Uh, I had no problem after I programmed it in the omelet coop. So hopefully it'll be the same in here. So it is the next morning and my automatic coop door is open. Here's the really uh, ghetto looking outside. <laughs> but there it is, it's open. Oh, I forgot to peel this sticker off. Here we go. The chickies are out. I'm so happy. I know my door looks so funky, <laughs> but it works and it's open, so I am happy. It's been a few days since I installed the Omelette Auto Chicken Coop door, and I've had no issues. It closes every night. It opens every morning. I'm so happy I finally installed it. If you're interested in one, I have a link in the description below as well as a promo code. So check that out. I hope you guys get it. I hope you love it and that it makes your life easier. And if you have any questions, just let me know.